So there's a brand of air freshener that you put in your car that looks like this, and I'm covering the brand name because I don't want to get in trouble by them or anything. Uh, but you get it, it's one of those chemical smelling ones, and you clip this part onto the air vent in your car. Um, only I don't really like those chemical smells that much. So I, what I did was I bought this and I took it apart, which it's meant to be opened this way because it's, um, shoot, <laughs> because it's, it's replaceable. So what you do is you just flip it open along this top part. Uh, I'm going to do that off camera quick. See, it opens like that. And then you can lift this bottle out and replace it with a new bottle. Only I don't like the chemical ones. So what I did was uh, I unscrewed this part, which just has a screw part. So you unscrew that and take it off. And you'll see there's like a ring here with the wick. Um, you might, the first time you do this, you might have to use like a, a tweezers or the end of a pliers or something to get this out to lift it the first time. Um, now that I've done it a few times, it's not that big a deal. And you just, you'll pull this off and you probably want to wear some kind of gloves or stuff like that because the chemical stuff is sicky sweet and it will make your skin smell even if you wash your hands a million times. So what I did then was I cleaned the screw top, the bottle, um, by soaking them in rubbing alcohol and I took the wick which is uh, just a cotton wick with a um, like a paper like a, a cloth paper wrapper around it I just dropped this in a small bowl with uh, some rubbing alcohol and I let it soak for a while till this part looked white again because when you first take it out it's gonna be whatever color is the chemical stuff so if it's blue or yellow, whatever, it's going to come out that way. Um, then once you've soaked these and scrubbed them, and this is soaked and all the colors come out, you can just lay this aside till it dries, and you'll feel that it's squishy again and the paper is, is clean so that it will be able to wick. Um, and then what I did was I just took uh, some essential oils I had, and some droppers like these, which you can get for a couple bucks or like a hundred, uh, you know, the, the pipettes, the cheap plastic pipettes. You can spend a couple bucks and get like a hundred of them. Um, and you use a different one for each oil, obviously, so you don't uh, contaminate <laughs> from one oil to another. And make whatever scent you like. So you just fill this up, which I'm going to pause and then do. So for this, um, for this time, I filled it with two droppers full of uh, eucalyptus and two droppers full of peppermint, which I usually use one or both of those every time I make something for my car. It makes your car smell fresher, and I have allergies, so it helps clear my sinuses too. Um, and if you're cheap like me, even though they're only a few dollars for a hundred of them, you can uh, maybe do what I do and stick a piece of tape around the bottle with like a little pocket so you can pull the pull this out and put it back on and that way you don't have to worry about uh, remembering if you use that one for that scent before. So once you've filled the bottle, then you're going to take, sorry, I keep getting out of focus. I'm not used to doing videos. You take the wick that's been dry, make sure it's dry and that it doesn't feel like it's still like oily or whatever. And you're just going to stick it back in so that that little thing is the whole way down and the wick should be touching the bottom of the bottle and you're just going to screw this back on and then clamp it back into this thing and just clip it on your vent in your car and your car will smell good and fresh and you won't be filling up your head with all the disgusting chemicals and it's good use of reuse, reduce, re reuse, reduce, recycle or whatever. Um, I happen to get this as part of like a gift bag of stuff. I never would have bought it otherwise. And so I tried to think of if I could do this and I ended up just taking it apart to see if I could. And I could. So I've had this same bottle and used it for, I don't know, probably three or four years now.